good morning you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to i think it'll be like a weekly vlog and we're gonna get our life together because you if you guys know you know the last few weeks i've had and i just feel like my life is honestly in shambles which is totally understandable and i'm just like ready to like get back on track get back into a routine get motivated get out of this like slump I'm in because let me tell you I am so grateful that we're doing our home renovations I'm so excited but it's really hard to like get excited motivated about life again get out of like a rut and a slump when your house is in shambles and there's just like noise 24 7 like it's just really hard to vlog probably like a pretty productive vlog and as I always say like you guys know the last week I've literally spent in bed with COVID exhausted tired i've never slept so much in my life and so it might look like my life is together and i'm being like crazy productive this week but it's literally just because i really need to get it together so if you guys watched the fun little vlog yesterday we just like spent the day together we caught up and now i'm like ready to get back into the swing of things i spent last night like brainstorming and making a big to-do list and it's just we have a lot of work stuff to catch up on both with my corporate job and my regular youtube job because I was working all last week with COVID for my corporate job, but I was just kind of dealing with anything urgent because I didn't have a ton of energy. YouTube, my manager's actually been on vacation for the last few weeks, so we're kind of just like catching up, planning ahead. Um, I'm already starting to plan for Q4, which is like the Christmas season, so have a lot to do there, but I'm super excited to take you guys along on a little weekly vlog, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know, we'll see, maybe Friday, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm about to start work for the day, just have a little cup of coffee because I can taste again. My taste came back last night when we were at Costco eating. I was like, oh my gosh, I can, I can taste this. So yeah, there's also obviously gonna be some home stuff sprinkled in here and I'm super excited to spend the week together. So I wanted to come on and say hello, let's get our lives together this week. Um, definitely not gonna look like it normally does because our whole downstairs is chaos right now. Like I can't clean it. Um, so in normal times, you know, I'd be like vacuuming the whole house and cleaning the whole house and organizing, but we're just dealing with the cards we have right now. So I'm super excited, but yeah, we're going to start work for the day. I'm trying to not be super overwhelmed because I have a lot of work stuff to do, even though it's my slow season, because obviously I was just sick and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying to just take it by like each item on my to-do list, but good morning. Welcome to the vlog. We have La Coffee. Also, I'm really hoping it comes, but I don't think it will. I ordered a standing desk from Costco, which I'm so excited about. My parents gave me money for my birthday and I used it for that because I've been wanting a standing desk for so long. I also have my Apple Watch back on for the first time in like over a week. I'm really excited to just like get back into it health wise. Um, I was pretty good at staying on top of my water in isolation because obviously you have to stay hydrated when you're sick, but love this i got this new water bottle yesterday new emotional sport water bottle yesterday it's like a stanley knockoff i'm obsessed with it and i've just been carrying it around the house and i can't really show you guys my corporate job to-do list but i made a big to-do list like a running list and i separated it by business home and personal so we have a lot to get done this week we'll kind of do this throughout the week and i'm super excited to take you guys along Woo! fits perfect my smoothie game lately just because i'm trying to like pack in the nutrients also our dishwasher just got delivered we got one on facebook marketplace because it saved a ton of money um this is what it looks like it's gonna go here obviously but she's beauty she's not beauty right here but she's beauty now the last thing to do is to just try and find a stainless steel fridge so everything will match because obviously we also kind of impulsively but not really bought a stainless steel stove so all of our appliances would match. <laughs> that was my first like big walk that wasn't around the block since I got COVID so I'm really just trying to take it slow honestly and like I'm not trying to rush back into the gym but I do think that now is a good time for me to like brainstorm and really kind of see what my like health and wellness goals are and intentions because I kind of have like a blank slate since I lost like eight pounds from having COVID so I feel like it's a good chance for me to kind of like 
figure out my next steps if I want to go back to the gym and lift if I want to focus still on like Pilates and yoga and just figure that out but I am taking it really easy right now and just like building up everything again because I have like no energy and muscle but I had said in the last vlog that I had got myself a little like birthday outfit from American Eagle but it didn't come on time and it's here now so I figured we would open it and try it on I'm in my coastal grandma era but the American Eagle stretch mom shorts are my favorite they're the comfiest shorts ever and they were on clearance for $20 because I think they're trying to make room for their fall stuff so um i picked these up i go soft i just picked up another little like linen shirt situation i have a white one i loved this one though i thought it was so cute I'll actually put a picture right here i saw an old navy ad for this like super cute outfit and then i went on the website to get it and it was sold out the shirt was so i got kind of a similar one at american eagle i love that it has a white collar and then it's just like a blue and white stripe and then the sleeves are different so i thought this would be super cute so i figured we could try it on why do i look like a literal little boy I swear you guys, I always try and put together cute outfits from like Instagram. <laughs> you look like a child. <laughs> I know. Uh, for you guys, I always see these cute little like outfit recreations on like Pinterest and Instagram and then I try and put it together and it doesn't work ever. I mean, I do like this top a little bit. I feel like that Halloween costume, what is that costume where they're just wearing the oversized shirt? But yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I kind of like the shirt. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I definitely just don't maybe think this is my style. We're doing a little lunchtime eye mask because I feel like right now it's just like the really small little things that make me feel put together. Just made myself a little afternoon coffee and I threw my curtain bangs up. I have to take a shower tonight. My hair is just like Grease Vegas and I need to take one of those like good showers. It's like shaving my legs and stuff because yeah i just need a good self-care shower so the theme of this video is obviously getting my life together but i have to remind myself that there's like only so much that's in my control right now like i walk downstairs and i just get so overwhelmed and anxious i am not built for home renovations because i just want everything to be in order like right now you know what i mean and so i have to remember that there's things out of my control right now and all i can do is control the things in my control like obviously so i want to clean upstairs and make sure that i make the upstairs look as nice as possible because i can't really do anything with the downstairs right now and I'm kind of trying to like divide and conquer and just do a little bit every day because obviously I'm trying to like get back into a routine. Just like floating through life and like you're dissociated from your body. That's how I feel honestly. I feel like I'm just like coasting through day to day and disassociated from my brain and body. Like I'm just floating through life. It's the weirdest feeling ever. And so I'm trying to really stop that and get back on track. But I am also giving myself grace in the sense that like... I'm still getting over COVID. My energy levels aren't back to where I want them to be. And so it's okay to just do like a little bit day by day. And also I think right now it's really important to take time for myself and stop and practice self-care and read and do all that stuff. So if you guys are looking for like a crazy productive vlog, this is not going to be it. You guys know me by now. I'm just trying to get my life back in like a sustainable way that's the update i guess i should go like i need to do like little things like these books have been sitting on my nightstand for like since my birthday i need to go put them away and then get to work in get to work and let's get our life together guys find a home for these new books oh, maybe you should stop buying books no i should never stop buying books okay this one i'm reading so i can stay out oh, this one i actually need to bring back to indigo to exchange it because it's broken broken maybe i'll do that today when i go to the Whoa, post office what are you wearing? i'm wearing eye patches and then these two mm. can go here all right <gasps> show <laughs> no, the boobies no. show the boobies <laughs> no. i don't do it don't do it ah. Ah. No. i'm about <laughs> I'm about to log off of work for the day. Nobody cares about that. Everybody wants to see Stella just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, you have to flip the screen so you can oh. see what you're recording. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Stella, what is going on with you today? Hi guys. I'm just a little tired girl. I just love to cuddle on my couch. Can you boop the camera if you're excited? Can you boop it? Oh, boop, boop. 
<laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. Alrighty guys, I'm about to log off of work for the day. I got a lot done on my to-do list. I'm very happy that I'm feeling productive, feeling motivated. And personal to-do list, I mean, we still have a few days to accomplish things, but things that I did today was upload today's video. Um, my weekly check-in with my management team, that got pushed just because we actually met on Friday because my manager's been off the last few weeks, so like there was nothing new in like three days or two business days to talk about. We got our dishwasher delivered. I ordered our bathroom vanity. Uh, I updated the home renovation spreadsheet. I hadn't done that in a hot sec. And yeah, so I think on the way, we're gonna go see Richard and Serena because Matt just said, no offense, but I wanna see people other than you because we've been stuck inside, which is very valid. I'm surprised we did not kill each other during quarantine. I mean, we had our low moments for sure. A lot of arguing, but it's fine, we're out of it. And anyways, that's what's going on. guys happy wednesday i just went on my lunch break and i needed to get out of the house just because um the one thing about living in a condo is that there's just like always something going on everywhere which is like fine it's like obviously the price you pay for living in a condo or an hoa or whatever you call it because obviously you know you pay so that if something happens to your house you have people that come and fix it anyways not only are the landscape people here today but then they're also like fixing our neighbor's backyard pavement and then we also have renovations in the house so it's like very loud and i just like can't really vlog so i was like you know what i'm just frustrated i'm gonna get out of the house that way i can vlog a little bit in the car and um obviously part of like getting my life back together is i just we need to stock up on some groceries we've gone back to doing like two times a week groceries like smaller grocery runs just because it helps us save a decent amount of money we're not like wasting food and stuff so i have a grocery list it's not huge but then again like i feel like there's always a few little extra things that you walk out with and yeah a little midweek grocery haul to get us to the weekend and yeah, I really just wanted to get out of the house. I woke up with a nice little friend on my face. But um, we're going to go into Walmart and get some groceries. It was a super nice little like, self-care night last night. It was so needed. Matt watched Deadpool. And usually I would be really down to watch Deadpool. But I just wanted to sit in bed and read and watch some YouTube and just like relax a little bit. And yeah, it's Wine Wednesday. It's Chicken Burger Wednesday. So we're going to do that tonight. And it's so hard to remember what I vlog for what because I'm also filming the bathroom reno vlog at the same time So I'm just like doing little bits of each vlog so it gets a little confusing But that's the plan for today and then I'm picking my brother after work my brother's doing summer school and My dad's at the cottage and then I think my mom is working late or something so I'm picking up my brother after school today and uh, Yeah Let's do it Alrighty, here's our grocery haul for the week. Naturally, I could not go to Walmart and not get a book. I got the new Ruth Ware book. Once again, like buying new books on Kindle is not worth it because it was the same price on Kindle as it was 30% off of Walmart. So super excited about this. I got some half and half for my coffee. Peppers were $1.97, so I picked up a three pack even though I'm tired of them. Cucumber, Matt needed some more yogurt. So I got him his vanilla Greek yogurt. I needed shaving cream. Strawberries were on sale for $2.97, I think, which is like not the best deal, but it's not the worst deal. Two limes, two lemons. Got some pretzel buns for chicken burgers. Got club soda for like cocktails, mini wheats, 
got some Gatorade for like the guys this weekend when they're you know doing all the hard labor. I got one regular lemonade, one pink lemonade. We've been loving the no sugar added lemonade. Good on its own, good with some rum. Got some more cheese. We just like freeze it and take it out when we need it. I saw Rachel Rackey make a smoothie with cherries and that sounded so good. So I, shit, I forgot collagen. Oh, I'll get it on Amazon. Um, I picked up so random, but I just picked up some like freezer waffles because sometimes I don't want eggs and then sometimes I don't want a smoothie. So I figured just having these like $1.97 waffles would be nice with some peanut butter and then a big prosciutto gal here. So that's my grocery haul. I'm going to put all this away now and then get back to work. been able to film a whole lot but that's fine there wasn't really much going on today honestly like matt and i both just worked from home all day but i have a package i wanted to open it sweet internet friend Brittany, who's based on the east coast and i wanted to get something to support her merch drop i can link it down below this little thing one of the crew necks this is her like information i'll put it on here this is all her boutique information it's just a big gray crew neck and the front says dunes on it and then the back says dunes nova scotia i thought it would be like a nice little oversized gray crew neck as if i don't already have 100 of them but i really wanted to support her and i think it's so cute and i like that it's just like white writing it's a little more plain so love that for a little morning coffee run in the fall so how fun is this her mailers are 100 percent recycled plastic waste Hey, I'm 100% recyclable. That's awesome. Love that. It's kind of hard to see me right now, but I just have like an urge to organize. So I'm gonna go through like all this stuff is like house stuff. I just have the urge to organize. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. I just finished getting ready for the day just because I have to film some videos on my lunch break, but good morning. I don't really know why I'm vlogging in the bathroom, but here we are. Um, today's mission was to reestablish a bit of a morning routine. I feel like there's two kinds of people when you're getting your life together, okay? Let me put the coffee down. There's like the person that does everything in one day, has like this crazy productive, like get my shit together in one day, which both versions of these people are amazing. We love them. Okay, but there's just two kinds of people. That's four, two kinds of people. Then there's the me, which is like the doing 
like having a big to-do list and then just doing a few things every day for like a week to feel like your life is getting back together because i've just realized i'm a gradual gal you know like i like to do a few things every day instead of like get everything done in one day i also just don't have the time this week to do everything in one day so sometimes i might be the gal that like just needs one day to get her life together and other times i might be the gal who needs a week it just depends where i'm at with life and with the chaos of home renovations i'm definitely the i need like a week so I've been loving to just do a few things every day. Like yesterday was cleaning my bathroom, getting groceries, and that was it. I couldn't really vlog much. It was so loud. And today, my goal is to get ahead work-wise. Obviously, you guys know I like to be a full week ahead of YouTube uploads, but then like just with everything, I kind of, I didn't fall behind. I only missed one upload, but I'm not that full week ahead right now, which gets me stressed. <laughs> so... It'll be nice though because August I don't have any sponsored content so far, which is totally fine. Like there's such highs and lows of brands and collaborations and partnerships um, that I'm totally okay with it. And I'm trying to find the silver lining in it that like all this means is that um, I can kind of play catch up. Because obviously when you're working with brands, like you have to give them three, four, five business days to get back to you on a video. And it's kind of hard to be ahead when you're already trying to be ahead and sending content in for approval so it gives me the chance to play catch up and i'm really looking forward to that so trying to find the silver lining in like having a slower month which is fine this is why i don't envision myself doing content creation full-time is because like you can't depend on this stuff my plan is to film two videos i want to film my july reads and then my august tbr which is um and then we have a lot of the last minute bathroom stuff coming today and i've decided i'm gonna film because I was trying to figure out how I was going to keep up with all these videos because it's so hard when you're also trying to like just film everyday life. I'm going to do a bathroom like I, it's not really a DIY reno. Well, I guess if you do it yourself, it is. But we're going to do I'm going to do a whole bathroom reno this weekend because while the guys are putting the flooring down this weekend, I'm going to focus on like painting the bathroom and obviously they're going to help me install things. But I want that to be my baby, my focus this weekend so that that video can hopefully go up next week or the week after with the kitchen because obviously we have people helping us and like not everyone wants to be on camera and record it. And so I think I'll probably just do like a before and after transformation kitchen tour kind of video. Um, I obviously still have to vlog like everyday life behind the scenes. So it's it's good chaos around here. Um, but that with that being said, I have to like empty the cabinets out today and just like do some home stuff. But I don't know if that goes in here because it kind of feels like taking my life back apart, not putting it together. So today is pretty work heavy in terms of getting my life together and getting ahead. Um, I also want a vacuum, but the obviously have a cordless vacuum for the tile, but I have like a heavy duty vacuum for the carpet. And we try not to vacuum during the day because electricity is expensive. So I just never have the motivation to do it at 7 p.m. But I feel like yesterday was a pretty productive day, honestly. We'll kind of just like see where today takes us really. Um, and yeah, but my makeup is done for the day. I'm ready for the day. I'm going to sit down and start work, kind of see where that's going to take me. And then, like I said, on my lunch break, I'm going to probably take off for a quick little walk and then get some videos in. So, yay. Good morning. Hello. We need to do another little check off on the to-do list. Okay, clean bathroom, check. Declutter pantry room, we did that yesterday, check. Did not film that, and I don't think I'm going to. And then I'll film these two videos today, take my Starbucks photos tomorrow, plan out Q4 finances and sponsors, check. So all that's left to do is to film two videos. Drop off donations and drop off Plato's closet stuff. But I might do that tomorrow while I'm out because I don't really envision leaving the house today. And then vacuum upstairs carpet. Okay, we're making great progress, honestly. I feel like it might be another two cup of coffee kind of day. Cheers.
guys, little update. I just filmed my July reads. I just finished work. And now the best part is I have to find a home for all of these books. <laughs> so let's do that. this doesn't go for like everyone but as someone who reads a lot and then also films a lot of book videos i try and clean up my bookshelves in my tbr cart at the end of every month and then i also go through the books that i'm going to donate because i do donate anything under three stars i try to only keep my favorites so this is the pile that i'm donating this month and that way i don't like i mean obviously i'd love to have a giant library one day and fill it up but then it kind of forces me to just like keep my favorites so reorganize all the shelves and my tbr cart so the top is thrillers and like book talk books i call it like i don't know what genre is this i guess like fantasy more book talky books and then i have all of my romance slash like educated and then the lost girls which are nonfiction, and then I'm starting like a Halloween fall TBR, so I have those books on the side, and then these are my nonfiction. So this just makes me feel like my life is together. Okay, very cute look, I know, but construction update of the day. I said like six times I can't talk today. Matt took all the tile off of the fireplace. What's that noise? Is that a bird? You guys saw us empty out all of the cabinets on our lunch break. And then Matt started to disassemble the cabinets, which is exciting. It's straight mayhem and this is all that we're gonna live off of for the next few weeks well no it's all upstairs and downstairs if we need it oh my god is this gonna be it? huh what did, what did you bathroom stuff friday i decided to keep this vlog going into today i was gonna film a whole new vlog today but i just thought we'd keep it going because i just currently 10 47 it's definitely a little bit of a slow start to the day i got up at like 8 30 I read for a little bit and then Michaela and I took the dogs to the dog park for like 40 minutes. It was so nice. I'm just wearing like a little workout outfit. I'm just wearing an energy bra and then my new navigation. Well, they're not new now, but I got them right before we went into quarantine. Morning walk workout, which was nice because I feel like I just don't have the energy still to like go to the gym. So it was nice to like go to the dog park, but plan for today i'll give you guys a little renovation update and then i have to head out and shoot some photos for a campaign and then while i'm like out of the house i just want to run some errands i want to drop off some stuff for donation i want to go to plato's closet and drop off some more clothes you guys know i like to do like a monthly clean out like if i haven't worn it in like a month it's going because i'm really trying to do i mean i have a pretty small wardrobe to begin with but i just like to do that every month and then maybe i don't know we'll see what we get up to but i didn't want to start a whole new vlog i was going to do a whole like taking myself on a date today video but i don't have the energy to film a whole new vlog but i want to keep vlogging if that makes sense but i'll give you guys a little random update because we did a lot yesterday so this is also why i wanted to just keep this vlog going and not start a new one because i'm actually going to get started on the bathroom reno today and that's going to be a whole different video but we took everything out we just took the mirror off this morning the only thing we have to pull off is this toilet paper holder which is like in the wall it's so weird but we took off the towel hanger and all that so that's good in here um and then you guys she is pretty much empty well she is empty on this side today they're doing the electrical i think so matt's cousin's an electrician and so they are moving some of the outlets and taking this wall off and putting drywall i don't really know honestly um and then this side is pretty good we have the fan hanging here we just need to take off these cabinets but we can't do this until we get this out but this has like a live wire going on so um we have to wait for that our cute little coffee set up right now and uh yeah alrighty guys we are obviously ready to rumble i'm so excited behind the scenes for you guys 
I need to, I'm going to go to Starbucks twice and I'll explain why. So obviously I've been working with Starbucks all summer. This is my last post with them and I'm like kind of emotional it's over because I've enjoyed it so much, but I really want to try one of their refreshers, not a pink drink because that doesn't sound good, but like a pink refresher and like match it to my outfit and then go take a picture on the beach. But I also need caffeine because I haven't really had any coffee today, but the boys also want coffee. So my plan is to go to Starbucks get my refresher, go to the beach, take a picture, drop off some donations, maybe go to Walmart maybe, I don't know, and see if they have a bathroom mirror, but I can do that this weekend because that's in another vlog. And then on my way back, go to Starbucks and get everyone coffee. So that's the plan, that's the sitch. And they're, um, Derek just got here and they're gonna do all the electrical and stuff. And yeah. But we're going to go and shoot this campaign. Shit, do I have a tripod in the car? I don't know where my tripod is. Shoot. Okay, hold up. I need to go find a tripod. We're having a classic Canadian delicacy for brunch today. Hi, how can I help you? Hi there, can I please get a BLT on a croissant and add urban garlic cream cheese? I also just get a cup of water and a birthday cake confetti donut. 1037 on every day. Thank you. You're welcome. My go-to is a BLT. It's always a BLT. Like my go-to sandwich anywhere is a BLT. I saw this on TikTok, obviously, and it looked delicious. So it's a BLT on a croissant and add urban garlic cream cheese. Except can you guys see that? Oh my god, so this is definitely gonna be my new go-to order because Sometimes I just find the bun a bit too much, you know? And I just like love croissants. And this is so refreshing. Mmm. I got one of their newer donuts, which is a birthday cake. Con <gasps> I just dropped it. I got one of the new donuts, which is like a birthday cake confetti. It seems like a cake donut. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's confetti in it. It looks like it's gonna storm. Maybe I should check that it's not supposed to rain. No, we're good. All right, well, let's roll. We're doing a Starbucks taste test before I go take these photos. I asked for a grande with extra ice and they put it in a Trenta cup. I mean, I'm not hating, but. Oh, that is delicious. I got the um, strawberry acai refresher lemonade. I should know, but like I never get refreshers. This is hits the spot. This is so delicious. This would be so good with like a little splash of rum in it. Mmm. Cute. And it matches my shirt, which was the goal of the whole Instagram post. So I love that for me. Um, okay, we're gonna head to the beach now and take these photos really quick, and then we can run our errands and all that stuff. But that that was 10 on 10. <laughs> at the thrift store obviously to drop the books off and wanted to take a look at what they had and i picked up two books i picked up when life gives you lululemons by lauren weisberger and then year of yes by shonda rhymes so they were each 3.99 which not a bad deal but that was my little book haul of the day now we're heading to starbucks to get the boys coffee hey guys it's been a minute i'll show you guys a little update from the day before i end the vlog off i've just been upstairs getting some work done because today's one of those days where it just kind of like makes sense for me to be out of everyone's way like that's how i can help i was gonna start so i was trying to catch a bug i was gonna start painting the bathroom but i don't know they told me to wait for some reason i'm not really sure but that's my project for the weekend it obviously looks like i'm not really helping and it's just because right now like our kitchen is small it makes sense to be out of the way but this weekend i'm filming a whole new vlog i'm doing the whole bathroom renovation process like painting and putting everything back so that will probably be either the next video you guys see or like one or two videos ahead but that's kind of like my project for the weekend and i obviously was like vlogging today and stuff so anyways just made sense to like be out of everyone's way today but the guys just left to lowe's i give them out my credit card i'm kind of scared we've just been like going back and forth paying honestly yes we split things 50 50 but like matt bought some stuff yesterday so i gave him my credit card today to like go get some stuff so anyways i'll give you guys a little update before 
I end the vlog off. Stella has been honestly a trooper. She doesn't like loud noises, so she just kind of goes upstairs whenever they're like drilling and stuff. But <laughs> we've still been like trying to keep her in routine of like going to the dog park and going for walks and stuff. This is what the kitchen looks like. So they spent the day doing this and doing electrical. And then I think the plan for this weekend is to do the floor. So the next vlog you guys see, we should have all of our floors done. But this is just like what the kitchen looks like currently. We're just like moving outlets and stuff like that. Like I said, Matt's cousin is an electrician. This is what the bathroom looks like. We took out the toilet paper holder finally. Um, and they just have to do something there, but I've like taped everything. It's all good to go. And then the next thing you guys will see is me renovating the bathroom, which I'm so excited about because I love to paint. Hope you guys enjoyed this fun little week in my life of like getting my life together and also just like a lot of renovation updates. I know you guys are like, in my DMs saying how excited you guys are to see the renovation process. So I've just been including a lot of clips. Let me know if you guys like that. If you just want to see the end result, I don't blame you. But I had so much fun filming this week in my life. Like I'm just in such a good mood. I'm so happy to be back vlogging. And I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.